So this first question wants us to solve x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the bracket. So that is 9 minus 12x. And then I'm going to bring a 4 to the other side and bring 2 to the other side. So that's negative 12 minus 2x. So that would give me 21 equals to negative 14x. To calculate your x, you would do 21 divided by negative 14. And that would be negative 3 over 2, which I'm going to write in decimal form. And that is negative 1.5. So the next question wants us to factorize, and as you can see, 12 and 18 are multiples of 6, so we can factorize 6 out, so that would be 2ab cubed plus a cubed b squared. Now a is in common, and b squared is in common, so we can factorize a b squared out, so that's a b squared, bracket 2b plus 3a square. So our final answer is 6ab square 2b plus 3a square. Moving on to the next question, they want us to simplify. So 5 multiplied with 2 is 10. A cube multiplied with a square is a power 5 and all you do is you just add the power together. C square multiplied with c power 7 is c power 9. Again you add up 2 and 7. So your final answer is 10 a power 5 c power 9. So for this next question I'm going to solve 16 power 3 over 4, and that would be 8. Now let's solve a power 8 to the power of 3 over 4. So a, 8 times 3 over 4 is 6, and for c, c power negative 12, power 3 over 4, so negative 12 multiplied with 3 over 4 is c negative 9. So our answer is 8 a power 6 c negative 9. Or you could write it as 8 a power 6 over c power 9. Now our next question says that y is inversely proportional to the square of x plus 2. Now whenever they're talking about proportionality, we could just change the proportional symbol to equal k. And since they said that x equals to 3 and y equals to 2, we can just substitute that to find our k. So our k would be 2 multiply with 25, which is 50. So now we have to find our y. So y equals to k, which is 50. 1 over our x is 8, so 8 plus 2 square. So 50 over 100 is 1 over 2. Or you could write it as a decimal, which is 0 0.5. So our y is 1 over 2. Now our last question wants us to write this as a single fraction. So first I'm going to make the denominator the same. I'm going to multiply this one with x minus 2. And so that would give me 10 over 2x minus 4 minus x squared minus 7x plus 10 over 2x minus 4. Now I'm going to expand the bracket and that would be 10 over 2x minus 4 minus x squared plus 7x minus 10 over 2x minus 4. So 10 minus 10 is 0 so we'll be left with negative x squared plus 7x 
over 2x minus 4. And that is our answer.